So we're going to look at CORS now, and this stands for Cross-Origin Resource Sharing, and this is to address the issue of same-origin policy. So same-origin policy protects us against XSS attacks, but there are times when we actually do want to access things from another domain name, okay, that's not from our own. And so that's what CORS allows you to do. CORS is kind of like this document or uh, these header files, which um, say, okay, this domain is okay um, to run scripts on, okay? And so an API gateway, this is something you're going to be commonly turning on uh, because by default, CORS is not enabled. And so um, you're going to have to enable it for the entire API or particular endpoints, like the cores that you want to, like the headers you want to be passed along with those endpoints. And so here you'd say, okay, well, posts are allowed, options are allowed, um, and see where it says access cross origin allow. You're doing a wildcard saying everything's allowed, okay? So that's how you would set it. Um, but you know, just understand what cores is, and cores is a is these headers that say this domain is allowed um, allowed access to run uh, these things from this location, okay? Um, and so cores is always enforced by the client. Cores being the browser. Okay, so the core uh, that means that um, the browser is going to look for cores, and if it has cores, then it's going to, um, uh, you know, do something. Okay, so there you go. That's cores.